This Ridleyo is brought to you by friends of Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. In a comment on one of my videos the other day, one of my viewers made the claim that the studies have been done which show people tend to be more sympathetic toward their enemies than toward people who are close to them. I don't know if this is true or not, but it's certainly borne out, for example, in this concept, familiarity breeds content. There was also, for instance, a phenomenon around 1940 in North Africa where the, some of the British troops were uh, bigger fans of Erwin Rommel than they were of their own leaders. And there's this other concept, separate concept, that ties in. The journalist Seymour Hirsch, who I think used to work for the New York Times, says, if you want to be, to be a journalist, you've got to be an outsider. Otherwise, you're just doing public relations for whoever you're reporting on, if you're too close to them. Boy, Dave, you are tall. So for me, I can't avoid the fact that I'm going to be close to some liberty people. And I can't avoid the fact, the fact that I'm going to be covering liberty people. But as our little movement gets less and less little, and as our division of labor gets more and more divided, I'm hoping to gain more and more distance I should be able to get more and more distance from most of the individuals and the institutions uh, within the New Hampshire Liberty Movement. That way, what I'm doing will become less and less PR each year, hopefully, and more and more just straight-out journalism or commentary. Ideally, I don't want to be reporting to the news about my friends, right? It should be about people who I have at least some token amount of distance from. And maybe that'll put me in harmony with another concept. I think it was Sinclair Lewis who said, and I paraphrase, in a tyranny, friends are a liability because the good ones die and the bad ones betray you. reality is I'm just going to be more effective and have a freer hand if I'm not too close to too many people. Of assaulting anyone. I don't have much on that one, Dave. Move on to another one. You have reached out and assaulted me once. It that's what you said, but everybody that's you looked at that video my, knows it's not true, and you know that's you not true. You grabbed my arm and pushed Dave, my camera you were right, down. You came right up behind me like this, and I turned and just barely touched you, and you well, got you so upset. It, again. You just I know, it, again. it makes the reports more interesting, for instance, you know, if you don't know exactly what I'm going to say. You know, do I support this or that activist in this or that action? Well, I can say what I think. If I'm more focused on being a good enemy to the statists as opposed to being a good friend to a bunch of liberty activists. It's a little hard for me to put my finger on, but when I, I think one of the reasons people don't like activists is they seem to form too much of a group with a group mentality, and a group is much easier to hate than an individual in most cases. And if you're too grouped up, then you become too much of a concentrated target. I think it's so much better if we have, kind of as Jason Sorens originally imagined, a diverse, spread out movement in New Hampshire that's not just spread out geographically around the, the state, but it's also spread out into so many factions with so many different opinions that the authoritarians find it impossible to hate all of us or to even disagree with all of us. I guess there's already been a lot of evolution in the way the Ridley Report runs in the sense that when I first started doing Ridley O's, the idea was hey, we've got some really interesting things going on here in New Hampshire that hardly anybody is seeing. Let's just videotape what we're doing. From there, it evolved into commentary, and then it evolved into... As you may be aware, New Hampshire has rejected the Department of Homeland Security mandated uh, Real ID. I guess it's not mandated by the Department of yeah, Homeland Security. It's administered by yeah, them, overseen yeah. by them. A priority on ambush interviews of bad guys. Uh, I'm not what you're, uh, you know, sure what the next stages of evolution would be, but I think it will probably just involve more and more uh, real independence on my part. Blockchain.info. 
It's a great place for Bitcoins to go. Some call it the best site to create a free online Bitcoin wallet. They have apps for Android and iPhone. Plus, get this. Blockchain lets the encryption for your account happen inside your browser. That way, even the site's owner can't access the account. It's just for you. Blockchain.info. It's a great place for Bitcoins to go.